And welcome back. Now we're bringing you the varsity version of the visiting Pennsylvania Indians and the home Colorado Cardinals. Ian Lindell, we've seen the JV game in Fairfield outplay Colorado by the turnover game. What do you think will be different and how do you think the game will end play out? Well, the first game was kind of decided by by inability to break down the de defense. So let's I talked to the code before the game with Cole Rain. And he said, I mean, for the, for um, between Fairfield, he said, time for the game. Cole Rain's always a tough place to play. We're looking forward to again to the GMC season started. Yeah. Well, this is the first varsity game of the year for Cole Rain. Fairfield's already had a couple of games so far, including including an impressive win over LaSalle the other night, 77 to 43. So I'm expecting some good things from Fairfield. We'll see what happens with Cole Rain. For Cole Rain, it's a new head coach, uh, Scott Kerr, coming from, coming over this year. This is his first year and first game. He's a five foot six senior. Number one, Rayvon Green. Number two, senior, five foot eight, Jason Young. He's a six foot sophomore. Number four, Corey Lightman. He stands six foot six. He's a senior. Where's the number 23? Kamar Hartman. Freshman, this is this is a small lineup for Cole Rain. I gotta imagine they got some probably some speed out there. You've only got one player over six foot. You got a six six, five six, five eight, two six footers, and um, so a size sizing it up very quickly. A size advantage substantial to Fairfield. But I got to imagine that Colerain's going to probably play a fast style with, with their size. So they're probably shorter, but they're probably going to be fast. Interesting matchup here. And we're underway. Center tip. Controlled by Colerain. We'll see how they break down the zone. Almost playing, they're, they're coming out man to man, I think. Yeah, Fairfield starts in a man to man. And it's and off. Broke down, broke it down, but did not finish. Lamar Harrow with the shot and misses. Off the rim, up in the air, rebound. And two shots. And two shots to the free throw line. I think that was Owen Bronston, number five. So breaking down um, Fairfield real quickly, a couple of key players. One player has been recruited by Wright State, number 11, Logan Woods. This is the first. This is one of amongst of a couple of games tonight in the GMC. Um, we got Fairfield at Colerain here tonight. We got Lakota East playing at Hamilton, Lakota West at Mason, Sycamore at Middletown, and Oak Hills at Princeton. The catch. Hardwell and makes finish. it. Demar Hardwell gets the first point of the game. Put it up high where he could possess it. What a shot by the uh, Cudwell. They get the shot and fail to convert. Oh, a, block. a nice block. The energy level is here, you can tell already. I think we're going to get a finish here and a layup. Three, two. That's now Ray Coney. We, we might be in for a high intensity game here tonight. Oh, that's cross-court pass. Somehow made it there. Dangerous pass. Let's 
So far, Fairfield's playing a man-to-man. -man. We'll see if they stay on that. Didn't see a man-to-man -man at all in the JV game. Didn't need to. See if he can break him down, and he did. Oh, wow. a nice block. That On block the was by number three, Colin Tolbert, one of the key players tonight for Fairfield. And a foul. And a foul. <laughs> Colin Tolbert's a 6'2", senior. Tom Parkins, number two, Jason Young, his first, the team second. He's only played a couple of games, but Colin is third in the conference in rebounds at eight, eight rebounds in the first two games. The first one is good. There is a kid from Lakota East averaging 20 rebounds a game. That's Jerry Lucas-like. For the older crowds, if nobody knows who Jerry Lucas is. Another substitution for Cole Number 10. The Ma Honwell come off. Here's a trivia question. There's only like three or four players that have ever won a high school championship, college championship, NBA championship, and a gold medal. There's only three. I named one of them, Jerry Lucas, who went to Middletown. Won at Ohio State, won a national, won, won an NBA championship with the Knicks, and won a gold medal with the USA. Carmelo? Nope. Yeah, I don't know. One of them is Hoosier, Quinn Buckner. The other one is Magic Johnson. Fairfield Damn, finish. Magic. Number two to, to Shawan Krim, another guy to watch tonight for Fairfield. And a finish for. That was Jamar, Jamari on hall number 10. And then a turnover, and Corey nope. got to it first. Oh, missed, off the rim. Foul is called. Over the back. Called over the back. Foul on Fairfield. I'm not sure he didn't have inside position, but called the foul. We'll see. We'll see if he was over the back here or not. Yep, he was. Easy. Yeah, that was definitely over the back. So we got an exciting start so far. We got Fairfield up seven to four. We got a high-paced game, and I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. Hopefully it doesn't, because I want I want a high-scoring affair in a, in a good game. Yep. Got a loud crowd and uh... timeout. Timeout. It will be a 30-second timeout called by the, the home Cardinals. He was not happy that he dribbled into the corner. You don't want to do that, it makes an extra defender. It's easier to trap. If you go to the corner, that's one defender, then you get two other guys and you're stuck. So Coach Kerr called the timeout real quickly. That's not what he wanted. It's a little bit of teaching moment here. First game for Colerain so far, they've, they've come out ready to play right off the bat. Substitution for Colerain, coming in number five. Turnover. Hit the shot. Wants to shoot the three. No off. foul. No surprise. Because there's not enough contact. Yep. Yep. And out of bounds. Fairfield's been a little sloppy with the basketball so far. This oh. fast pace, the pressure that Colerain's exerting has got them a little bit. I'm surprised it's not a foul call. No, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's right. So that's Trey Watson coming in for Cole Rain. And a Pulled shot. Up and and what a shot. shot. Stopped on a dime there. Just short of the three point arch. Seven to six. Oh, almost over the back. Yes, it wasn't. Wasn't over and back. Good call. If you watch the replay, he went from one side to the other. Can 
entertaining start here to the game, Ben. Indeed. Oh, nice move. Hopefully, Fairfield can get some points here. In cold rain. Turnover on Corrine, and it goes to Fairfield. Little miscommunication. He thought he was coming out to meet the pass, and he was making a cut. First game of the year, so things are going to work on. Taking the ball in for Fairfield, number two, to Shawan Krim. Correct by number 11 in black. Bumping him, letting him get away with the bump. And a fair and one, a charge. a charge. No basket. He was waiting on that one. Definitely allowing a little contact on the back. He was kind of riding them all the way to the rim. For real. <laughs> Gonna let him play, right there. Did he step up in, or was that a charge? I don't know, almost looks like he might have stepped up. A travel. Jump ball. Ooh. Possession goes to Fairfield. Might have, might have been a travel there, but didn't call it. Maybe he didn't have possession. Fairfield gets ball. I'm getting exhausted just watching this game, Ben. Oh, there. they're going right over. They're, they're turning him over. Great feet work in the dribble by number five. As we suspected, Coleraine is not tall, but they are quick. Oh, block. nice block. And going right back. Turnover. He's going to take him to the rim here, I bet. Got a block. block oh, again. a lot of body. Wow, and a lot of contact on that one. Oh, and he got it inside. And and a nice finish. Nice dish. And that's the first lead for Coleraine, up eight to seven here. Giving Fairfield all they can handle so far. This is a, this is a great entered game here we have today. A nice open, wide open. And a three, and very him, nice. He's wide open, and makes him pay. Juan Krim can stroke it with that three. Very nice ball movement. Cole Fairfield back in the lead, 10 to eight. Leave them open and they can play. Oh, another turnover. Not, the spacing was not very good there. The result of the spacing was a turnover. For the Cardinals, Jason Young. Looks like uh, Coach Kerr with Coleraine's going to shuffle some guys in and out to keep Coleraine fresh. The pressure they're exerting, they're going to need to have plenty of bodies. They're giving up four or five inches at least, but they're filling the passing okay, lanes. A connected, a connected best pass, but kickball by will be in effect, and it will stay with Fairfield, I, I assume. Yes, it will. It will stay with Fairfield. Good ball can you shoot, can you shoot, and, nice and nope. misses by hair. Rebound, Fairfield. That's the one thing they're probably going to get is a lot of rebounds with the size difference. A nice oh, deal. The speed out of oh. bounds. <laughs> a break for the if Indians. A huge break. This going to be an interesting, you got an interesting game here. Guys doing a nice job of defending. Stroke. Shot and bakes it yeah. in three-point field goal. That's the Schwan Krim again. He could knock down. He could knock down the three. That's going to be an issue. Could be a serious issue for Colrain. And oh, one to answer there, but get out on a the fast run. break. And he and it. the hammer down. Oh my! <laughs> Brought down the house. Brought down the hammer. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That was highlight material there. Fuck there, top ESPN. 10. Fuck oh. there, top 10. I think even the Coleraine fans enjoyed that one. <laughs> A 
again. Oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Kawan Talbert, that was nice, but the other one was highlight material. Yeah. We might be on ESPN. <laughs> put, he put the hammer down. <laughs> Somebody's got to send this over to Connecticut. <laughs> Here's, the, here's, here's our the, replay. Here's the dunk. This is worth a couple. Oh, that was. No, oh, that was what we want. We want to see the dunk. And he actually stood over him. He kind of taunted him on the dunk. He's lucky he didn't get teed up. Here it is. Is this the dunk? No, that's not the one. We got the next one coming up. That's the charge. Oh, they got to get to the dunk. That's the one we got to send to Connecticut. Here we go. Oh, we, oh, we. No, no, no. We need. We come too many. We need to see. We need a dunk. <laughs> find, find it time. We'll watch you later. <laughs> oh. I'm starting to see how they beat LaSalle by 34. The team is a jet. It was 8-7 and now it's 19-8. Let's see if Coleraine can handle the run. They need a basket bad. Luck and goes to oh, a legal pick. Called an illegal set on the screen there. Was he moving? It's been a moving screen. Fairfield has won every game. They won the freshman, the JV. They can possibly do the varsity. They can do the sweep. Yeah, yeah. I want to see some more dunks still, bro. I want to see that go. <laughs> Let's get this crowd going. That one needs to go to Connecticut. There won't be too many better dunks across the U.S. than that one. That's at Bon James in high school. Oh my goodness, that was that was. So just like that, Fairfield is up 11. I can't believe they're up 11. It was just 8-7. Last shot. Can he make it? No. Back in his face. Cheer oh man, go ahead, the cheerleaders. That was a that was a quick run. So we're going to get a chance to watch the highlight here, the highlight dunks. So anyway, we're at the end of the first quarter, 19 to eight, Fairfield over Lakota. Summarizing it real quickly, I mean, Coleraine was right there. They were causing turnovers, and then just like that, a couple quick turnovers, and it went from eight to seven to 19 eight, just like that. So what do you think, Ben? What do you think Cole Rain has to do to, to get back in this? Stop that. That's all about turnovers. Stop the turnovers. Sounds like the last game. If I was Cole Rain, I would consider Preston Fairfield. Full court. Get some more dunks going. They could take advantage of their speed to maybe turn the ball over. They had created a couple of turnovers on Fairfield. A turnover's been a huge factor in the, in the past games. Points over turn, yep, points off turnovers. That first quarter went like that. We had the turnovers, but we also had a couple three-pointers by Deshaun Krim. He nailed, proved he could knock down the three. Oh, 
Off another the turnover. turnover. Here's another dunk, here's another dunk. Oh, he got back fast though. Oh my goodness. Two shots. He got the foul, but he came out of nowhere. One on one. That was a nice hustle to get back. Shooting two. Good hustle, good hustle. Make Fairfield knock down three throws. And fail to connect the first. This lineup out here for Fairfield right now, sizable size difference across the board. And it's in, up and in. Pick and roll. Nice, nice rebound. Good kick. Oh, big guys. Made him foul him though. They drove to their body and made him foul. Number eight for Corey had the new space jam, Jordan. When, when you got that much of a size difference, you gotta drive into their body just like he did. Number 23 makes it king, his first and team's fourth. That negates their size advantage. The the Mithira has a new face jams. On. 20 to nine, Colerain with an opportunity here to cut it to 10 at the stripe for um, Colerain, that's Jerron Harper. And makes you out of two. Knocks down two, makes it 20 to 10. See if they're gonna press here. That's the one weakness I see with Fairfield is they have turned it over quite a bit. And that's where Coleraine's got to exploit that. Nice drive to the rim. Oh, Puts too much height on it. So. Oh. Jump ball goes to Coleraine, Fairfield. Jump ball. Good hustle to get to the offensive glass by um, Kamar Caldwell, number 23. Tallest guy on Fairfield, or Coleraine, he's at six foot six. Stepped on the end line, turnover. Another turnover by Fairfield. Three turnovers and nothing a minute in the same area. The one thing that can keep Cole Ray in the game is Fairfield turning the ball over. It's been an even game except for that quick 11 nothing burst. You can see from Fairfield though, they got that explosiveness that they can just. And. And a, and a turnover on the other four side. Four turnovers and that's in 20 seconds. Wow. That's a new record. What are we five? Kwani Krim. Looks like he got away with a little bit of a push off there. Oh. Five two, turnovers. turnover. In, 20, in 30 seconds. Playing the turnover card in the game. The intention was good, just a little bit hot to handle for the big guy. Once again, you're getting into a dribbling game. It's man on man, but again. Look at the shot, and nice pull up it. ball, unlucky. That's a good pull up jumper, just spun out. Here's the trap. Able to beat the double. Oh. And this has to connect. What? Jump ball goes to Corrine. Jump, yeah, one out of bounds. As soon as the big guy put it down, he grabbed it. If you're the big guy, you don't want to put it down to the ground. You just want to keep it high where he can't get it. Easier said than done sometimes. Again, this is the three. That time. First miss. The rebound, the fade, and two shots. Once again, they're taking advantage of some of their size to get to get to the get to the rim and steal the ball and get it back. Chance for Fairfield Indians to expand the lead from 20 to 10. Yeah. 
Phillips looking like the first. Just three throws. Subbing back in for, um, for Colerain is Kamar Caldwell. Made the second one, 21-10. See if Cole Rain can score in the half court set. Nice and drive to the rim. Once again, go drive into the body. The, okay, so now back to, back to the charity strike. That's stuff coming for Cole Rain. Again, that's a good way for them not to block it. Go right into him. Forrest Fairfield the foul. Made the first, 21-11. Subbing in for Colerain, that is number 32. And I don't see 32 on the roster. Must be coming off the JV squad. Must have had him in the scorebook. Hit the shot. Oh. oh! Impressive. Covered and shoved and still makes Colin it. Colin Tober just pulled up and knocked down the two. Another sports center, hot time reel. Stopped on a dime, another. That's the thing about Fairfield, they don't have just one player. They got three or four guys that are really good. Oh, dribbled off his foot. Out of bounds, maintains possession. Asking for a foul on the wrist, I'm not sure. I thought he got a lot of ball. Coring down 24-11. Having trouble in the half court set. Oh, that's a great outlet pass. And two shots. Really nice outlet pass from Fairfield. I did a flip the, um, the like foul was called. Number three tried to do the windmill. Yep, look, look how we just chest pass right out. That was nice. Fail windmill. Had a chance to extend the lead on a the two shots or a one on one. And what I wanted is two shots. The first one connected. Substitution for Corey, number 25, Bell Frosty. Good mixture of senior and junior players on Fairfield. And knocked it down. 26-11. 26-11. Just like that, it's a 15-point lead. Another turnover. Another turnover. They are filling those passing lanes. The JV Cardinals had, had trouble um, finding space in the JV game. Well, the varsity has had a problem. Yeah. Five second call. Five second. I didn't. I didn't think it was. But yeah. But five second. <laughs> I guess he he considered that he wasn't moving the ball forward. Thought he got stolen and he got it back. Pretty quick, but anyway. Back to live action. Got a hand on it again. Having trouble getting good shots. 
Fairfield's playing man to man, but doing a nice job. Called the charge. Pretty half, less than th uh, four minutes to the halftime. And Faith. Fairfield's make, look, make it look like walking walk the park on the scoreline. Yeah, they got out to seven, nine points, and they have trouble. They've had trouble scoring this quarter. The leading scorer, there's two of them. Number two, four of uh, Fairfield has eight, and number three has seven. Nice job of breaking the press. And one! Nice, very nice. That's like fourth of the craft of M1. seen so far, Ben, I think Fairfield is going to definitely be a threat for the GMC title this year. It's too early in the season, but yeah, the keys is up, they, can, they sure will. So far, you see some depth and talent here. They look good. We got into a march to see that, though. Yep, yep. Long season, but early returns look favorable. Just polling people as they exit the voting booth. Bumped him a little bit, got it. Once again, a turnover, and we might have. Oh, I won! Almost one for the alley hoop. Yeah, that was behind him. Entering the game now for Cole Gray, number zero, Gary Todd. They said, "Come on, man, we've been working on that." <laughs> Try to get too cute. He goes, "No, no, he just got it to him and was able to execute it." Foul on Fairfield. Foul on Fairfield, number five, Robert Bronson, his second for team six. Substitution for Fairfield, number 23, Mason King. Fairfield started out a little bit r rattled by Colerain, but they quickly settled in. The pace of the game has slowed down a little bit. They catch and shoot, and it is no. just off. M more b rebounds to go on the field, field stats. Uh, another one. Nope. Missed this as well. Chance for Fairfield to get out on the break. That's what they want to do. And oh, failed to hit the rim. You got to finish. They got a chance to get out on the break, and they didn't finish. But the fifth, number 15 try to go for the screen. Penalty. That'll put um, Colerain in the penalty. Well, the Colerain already was in the penalty, so we're shooting one and one. Colerain, number two, Jason Young, his second. Team's One and one for Fairfield, number 11, Lily Woods. The shot. And one more. If he makes this shot, the 20 point game. Yeah. Yeah. It was an 8 to 7 game. It was 8 to 7 Coleraine, so since then it's been 22 to 3. Coleraine just can't get any offense going. And 2 for 2. 31 11. First in the last two and a half minutes of the half. And replies. That was a nice finish. Wow. He just flashed some. Think about shooting, but passed it. Nice it, pass. Nice delivery. Two shots. Back to the line they go. And two shots instead of the one I won this time. Nice delivery. I don't think uh, Fairfield failed to hit the charity strike. Uh, oh, he's been converting. We still haven't seen the replay of that dunk. 
Yeah, we got to go back into the vault for at that the, one. At the moment, the game so far. We might have to watch that one later at home. That's the moment of the game. No, I'm going to outbeat that key moment. And I feel uh, another uh, one like that. That was highlight of the game for sure. And the fails to connect the first free throw has um, not convert. Up by 21 as it stands. 19, actually. 32 13. Turnover once again. Another turnover. The turnover bug. Get, get out on the run. And connect. Wow. Impressive. Good first half for Shawnee Krim. Can step up and knock it. And no, just can't knock down the shots. Match. We're gonna get him on the run too. Oh, I think had him. Travel. Called, called the travel. Like Number three for Fairfield. One, the most of threat comes back onto the floor. They've got a lot of threats. What I like and what I've seen so far, it's not just one guy, they've got a couple. Hard to shut down three people. Some skinny legs right there for that. They, That's a skinny leg. They may be holding for one. They're spreading it out, unless he can get a good drive. Almost over and back. If he got deflected, no, he got, no, he got a piece of it. Yeah. To take it to the rim. What? Oh, unlucky. But had good penetration. That was a good shot. Halfway down, just spun out. Oh, he kept the pivot foot. Couldn't shoot, and it is three. converted. Oh, good three. Thirteen thirteen. That was a big three right there. Puts him up 24. And another turnover. Nope, it'll be foul. a foul. Um, going to go to the three throw line for, they're not in the penalty yet. Unless that's seven. Okay, okay now it's got to be one and one, right? He was in the shooting. Oh, wow. I thought that was on the floor. He was like back here. Surprised he gave him two. It might be the last game to get Corey some points going to the locker room. Yeah, struggling to score. That's similar to the first game. And two for two. Asavis played. Association. I wonder if uh, Fairfield have a, 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 a chance to get some points in the final play of the half. In the backcourt, gonna look to pop a three here, I bet. He knew exactly how much time he had left. And at the half, it is the, the visiting Fairfield Indian 37, the home Cardinals 15. We'll see you in the second half. We'll be after the 50 minute break. Question. When you walk into the boardrooms of the most successful companies here in Ohio, who do you meet? Answer, men and women who played high school sports. Education-based high school sports give us more than athletes we can root for. They give us leaders we can depend on. Question, so where will we find tomorrow's leaders? Answer, high school sports. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. There you go. Test, test. We're on, we're on. Okay, we're back to live action here. Colerain looking to attempt a three. Foul on the floor on Fairfield.
I think the foul was on zero, and that is Ray Coney. So if we talk a little bit in the, about the first half, Ben, what do you think? At the point, what, what were the keys to the game? Fairfield, Fairfield had a thing on the yard. Plus another thing, Cole Ray had to go on the turnover game. What and was that again? The turnover game when Cole Ray has led turnover, to a lot of fast break right. on, on turnovers. Yep. It can hurt you in a lot of scenarios. And you said um, this team, Fairfield team, can make a good run to the state. But on the early season in, that's what happened. What I've seen so far from Fairfield, they like. Their, their offensive game is amazing. The guy who had a really strong first half for Fairfield was um, the Shawnee Krim. He ended up with 13. Failed to connect on the three-pointer. He got two early threes, and then after that, he was driving to the basket, and he was also getting assists. Lamar Cogwell. Number four taking the shot, and it is Off out, out and in, in and out. One early thing I remember, at one point it was 8-7 Colerain, and Fairfield went on an 11 run, including that monster dunk. And that number was number oh, zero. Oh, beautiful backdoor. And another, another dunk. Finish. Another hammer down. Backdoor, got him on a backdoor on that side. That was nice. That dunk was by number five. That was Owen Bronston. Putting Colerain up 39 to 15. Got a timeout. That code for Cole Rain is fuming, you see right there. Yeah, he's unhappy with something. He's got a quick substitution. Substituting in for Cole Rain is number five, Trey Watson. They are going to see two. So two we get the, the, the best one ever. Well, you know what? There was so much happened in that one sequence, there's too many highlights. But I'll have to watch that other dunk later. That was special. It definitely sparked an energy in Fairfield that they're still still riding that wave, so to speak. So Fairfield has built up a substantial lead, 39 to 15. And we're back out there to be taking timeout. Cole Rain is having a tough time getting good shots. What Fairfield did with zone defense in the first half, they've done with in the second. He's doing a really, good, a job, really good job of defending. A great lob pass. They nice, nice pass. Nice, beautiful the mound, pass. And, shoot. and another and finish. Wow. 42-15. They got guys that can knock down threes as well. But you're right, that was a great pass. Spreading the court. Like Corrine JV, they can't find space. And they take shots like Hill Mary. Yeah, you gotta, you're the best man to man here, you gotta break him down in the dribble, maybe kick. But to Fairfield's credit, there's a turnover. I would like a, a, um, Cole Rain to go on the screen because he, he saw hold up, the right part of the paint open. And if that guy from um, behind the arc is squished over, he could got a good layup. You got guys gotta make back cuts or do something. He's needed a good overlap. Using their strength and, and size. Oh. oh my, came from nowhere. Nice block. It was a foul, but he wasn't. So his high real dunk is not Kevin just yet. Are they gonna call an intentional there? It looks like. Uh, I thought it was a good block, honestly. Yeah, but it's, it's intentional. It is, no it's not, it's not intentional. He did this. Hey. That was, there was no problem with that. Okay, so that was a good hard foul. I thought, I thought we needed this. No, no, no. Nope, nope. And makes it again. It tends the lead. A whole new five, a whole new five coming on for Fairfield. That's what's the guys. Baptism by fire. You can probably with the whole JV team right now. Might be too hard for that, but you know, 
the leaky throw and the, yeah. Well, it also gives them a chance to show them what they're doing. And now it's a 30 point ball game. Now you can see how they won their last game by 30. For real. This team is good. And, and, and also at Coley platform. And then our turnover. Doing a very nice job on defending as well. Now, now they're just getting out and running. With four minutes to go, it is a, 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 this is a dying dandy for uh, Fairfield tonight. I think I tell will say a, a diaper dandy, I think I tell will say. Another foul. Got to reach in on that one. That will be the fifth, the second, the third foul for a Corrine this half. I've been impressed with Owen Bronson here in the second half. Knocked down some threes, he got the one dunk. We've got three or four guys that have had solid games. Crims had a solid game. Another three Bronson. Kevin missed. Sorry about that. No, that's live action is part of the game. What a scoreline. You can only do color commentary so often. You gotta do play by play every once in a while. Fairfield takes it out with a 32 point lead. They've opened this one up. Find that. This is probably a great, and one. Oh, and a finish. Is that a freshman? 20, no, that's 24 as Mir Rogers is a junior, six uh. foot seven. They're deep too. They're going seven or eight deep. It doesn't seem like you're subbing in guys. Or they've got some bodies as well. And failed to connect. Again, I don't think you beat LaSalle by 33 by accident. Another turnover. Now they're going out to run. This might be see a dunk here. And. That's it. And a finish. <laughs> hey, um, they're pulling away. Hey, quick question. Announcement. In, right now, they can do a, 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 a running clock throughout the game. No. That's what they do. They do. They do. In high school, they do? Yeah, I don't uh, think so. With the West Molar championship, uh, regional game, uh, championship game, all that, in the UD, they did running clock. Okay. Did not know that. Oh, now they're getting out to run. Dunk it. Dunk it. Two points, though. This is just now the coffin. Yeah, they've worn them down now. Cole Rain, freshman JV, and varsity get blown out on their own platform, but no, no disrespect to Cole Rain. But, you know, stats. Oh, what? A weird shot. Two yeah, shots. That was Double, double dribble. Oh, wow. I don't think this is the last team that's gonna get blown out by Fairfield. There's no running clock. I think that's only playoff time, I guess. Weird. There it is. See, look at that. The play's okay. not there, the cut's rolling. There's the running clock. And connected! Three points raining from everywhere. You're going eight, nine deep in the bench and they're knocking down threes. This is my favorite style of basketball. To put the threes on, it's my favorite style of basketball. Another turnover. And, oh man, and follow up. Wow. Two shots. Oh, it's in the face. Is he okay? The Mercury took the ball to face off the rebound. Yep, there's a clock now. Burning clock. The running clock is on. Number 
That's my um, friend Tony the truck. I will ride there in the running clock in high school ball. What's what is that, 35 plus point I know, lead? I know, I know, yeah. It's a new rule, I guess. I was not aware of it. But it's the first time they've ever done it. This is. It ain't the first. First year, okay. Gotcha. Weird, because two years ago, 2018, Winston Woods played more than in a original game. They hit the running clock. Weird. Oh, we got a little bit of the body there. So apparently it's determined by if the score gets over a 35 point difference, the clock runs. Another, no, 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 no foul for this one. Corey on the fast break, turnover quick. And one. And a basket. This is getting ugly for Corey. Corey wants to get home. I've been Fair, impressed. Yeah. I've been impressed by the offense, but I've really been impressed is with the defense. I mean, they had nine points in the first five minutes. They've only scored eight points since. In, in one attempt. And at the end of the third quarter, it is Corey Carl, 17. The visiting Indians, 61. We'll be here after a minute of a break. The clock is not There's the clock going. This is a trashy for Corrain, bro. This is, this is amazing. Oh, another! A three pointer, and it is not connected. Another fast break by the Indians. Wow. Very nice. Another follow-up. Man. That's the, that's Colin Tolbert. That's the kid that's going to um, Wright State. Wright State, okay, I have a man like that. Which I'm the best to this end of the year in that, man. I think that's going to have a baller. Oh, fouled him. Yep. Mostly Cardinal points is going to it's coming from the charity strike. I'm surprised the coach is keeping his composure on the on the sideline. And the shot and not connected. Second shot. Oh, 
Charge. Charge. Yep. Yep. I, 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 won't, won't, I wouldn't want to be in that locker room after the game today for Cole, for Cole Rain. That Cole Rain locker room is going to be uh, heavy. I don't think it'll be that bad, honestly. They've just been beaten by a good team. But in this quarter line, I wouldn't be happy at this quarter line, bro. This is embarrassing for Cole Rain. No, no. It's a learning curve. Solon once again and still failed to connect. Rebound, what a save good and hustle, good hustle. Cole Rain ball. New Fairfield ball. And off. Took getting, a lucky bounce. Getting a little rough and tumble. And two shots once again. Clive will still be moving. With that running clock, we'll be out of here in five minutes. One that for Coleraine, that's the first one in a little while. And second shot, and it is a seven foot net, and now it's 64 to 19 in favor of the visiting Indians. That 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 player's down for Cole Fairfield. Player down. That must show it happened. He turned his ankle. He camera up. He turned his ankle. His ankle. Oh my God. Um, we're gonna take a quick break. Yeah, he turned his ankle. I think. A little scared here, but thank God that, that affair is okay. Yeah, sometimes you get more scared with those. You twist it and you're afraid it's worse. The good thing is he got up and moving. I'm sure he's gonna be getting some ice for that. I turn over once Filling, again. Fill in the passing lane, just blew right by him. Wow. <laughs> They got a lot of weapons. This team is lethal. Fairfield's gonna have a good year. This is a good team. They already scored like 300 plus in two games. I mean, 200 plus in two games. In and out. You get the eye test right away. You can tell they're good. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> a little ambitious. <laughs> That, was about, 20, that was about 28 feet out. I guess he's getting some playing time. He figures he'll take advantage. <laughs> Cushion shoot, and that is off. The guy wide open in the middle of the arc. And Cole Rain on a fast break. Failed to connect, and then a rebound. Oh, going over to Payne behind the arc. Ooh. And a foul on the visiting Cardinals. Cardinals. We home Cardinals. I thought he hit him really hard and he barely flinched. Watch the contact there. Just bounced right off him. The Fairfield's starting to take out some of their guys. They don't want somebody to turn an ankle or get hurt here in the last two minutes. Substitutions for Cole Ray. Number 12, Jerry Pass. And number 32, Jacob Andrews. 
Bowrain started out with some energy in the first quarter and then Fairfield took care of business. Really poured it on here in the second half. Oh, broke his ankle. They seem to be about seven or eight deep though. Oh, just missed. That's the thing that might make them dangerous. They got a lot of guys. You think Corey can cut 20 points today? Or break 20? Well, probably, yeah. When I was at Woodward Wood, our girls scored against West Hot 50 to 7 in the game. Tell you what, some great defense here on the but on the on behalf of Fairfield. They they this really is, they really they really locked down Coleraine. This is a great team. They got something going this year. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how far they go. Oh! Running clock, we're under a minute now. 66 to 18, a very impressive effort from Fairfield. Oh man! Might be one of the reasons they're drawing some big crowds. This team is legit. Has Fairfield ever won a state championship in basketball? I think they he might was have. up there. No, this is Coleraine. I'm talking about Fairfield. Oh. I know Coleraine's done some stuff in football. Get to the rim. Got 20. There you go. Yeah, push it to get to the line. I don't think he can get the shot off. Uh, with the running clock, do they count the last three throw? Does he get his chance? I don't think so. I think they they stop him. it nope. so he can shoot it. I'll stop it at 1 4 just so he can shoot the three throw. And then once he makes it, it'll be done. And that was all, all she game. wrote. In today's first three game, they will end the Fairfield Indians 68, the home Cardinals 20. Have a great weekend, stay safe. Have a good evening.